Yeah, we'll have to go for a test. Yeah, that's fine. I'm Ben A, I think it's last letter for Hinga. So it's all shooting up. Police, guys are watching. Yeah, well, I'm going to give you that. So I'm stop Rohingya, leaving the A. That'll be from here, so from there, yeah. I'm not sorry, stop Rohingya. George Galloway up there.
not criticising at this key point in time that our British businesses will get those deals. The law here to say human beings matter more than profit. And I are here to condemn atrocities committed against Rohingya Muslims and demand an immediate halt to the ongoing carnage in Myanmar. The delay by UN once again raises eyebrows on its powers and raises concerns about the loyalty. The government of Myanmar refuses to recognize the Rohingya Muslims who it claims are not native and classifies them as illegal migrants who migrated to Myanmar as early as the 8th century. It to send nearly 1 million Muslims, which is one of the most persecuted Muslim minorities to refugee camps run by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. We look at history, the Holocaust, the genocide, and globally peace organizations now explore the challenges of preventing genocide in the 21st century. So, while the Bosnia and Rwanda genocide are still afresh in our minds, the question is, how can this mass massacre be allowed to be carried so far? Thousands of Rohingya continue to have fled to neighboring Bangladesh, where they have faced pushback from the Bangladeshi government in violation of international law. Rohingya men, women and children who arrive on shore and pleading for mercy to be going on land and to take refuge were refused. They were sent back on their wooden, unworthy boats to go back. They couldn't go back to Burma because if they did, they would have been shot by the Burmese. So they had no choice and most of them were lost and drowned during that journey. And now I will introduce you to the Bradford Rohingya community who moved to the UK. I was born in 1982 in Arkan Estate in Myanmar, in many times for giving money to the massacre camps. I was nine years old in 1991. Clearly I remember that massacre army forcibly entered in one of our neighboring family and took one lady to their camp. Rape, torture, looting. I formed an youth group in the refugee camp to protest the push, pushback and resist the Maji in 2002. The Majis and the government officer opened fire against the Rohingya youth group in 2004. And three of our members lost their lives. After that, the government filed case against us. A result of, as a result, some of our youth group members fled from the camp. However, we did not stop our youth movements in the camp. At night, Suddenly you hear your Rohingya neighbor's house crying of a woman asking for help. Followed by a group of recurring young people in short pants setting fire on your Rohingya neighbor's house and knife is yours. You have no time to spare. You leave behind your possession. You took your family in your boat and got on the river and you found, you found out you are the luckiest one you got shelter in the neighboring country. This seems like this seems like a history of Hitler's Germany in the last century. No. It is in Asia, in a Buddhist country, in the remote control corner of Arkan of Burma. We were not authorized to go outside the refugee camp because if people would discover that we were from Rohingya community, then they would kill us. Do not be silent. We will not be apologetic if Muslims happen to be the victims of persecution or terrorism because that's another byproduct of the so-called war on terrorism where they say don't talk about politics and don't talk about Muslims being persecuted. I'm hoping that after the statements this evening the silence of Nick Clegg and David Cameron on the massacre will come to an end. The Rohingyans have the same right to live in Burma as any Buddhist, as any Christian, as any Hindu, as much right 
as Aung San Suu Kyi has to live in Burma. They're sending money and weapons to other countries, encouraging Muslims to kill Muslims, but they haven't lifted a finger to defend the Muslims in Burma from the massacre yeah. against them. Compassion and mercy is not what we're looking for. We're demanding that people's rights are respected. You don't know me, but I'm just saying, Tommy, I'm just saying. Instantly, we're on our three days left until results day.